franchise as a whole has a new kind of face and direction. People are excited about this new stuff, but at the same time, they are afraid that we're changing a lot. I wanted to take some pretty big steps with the franchise, and I said, look, we we're going to put Tomb Raider back on the pedestal. We're going to say we're going to reboot this. We're going to do some bold stuff, and we're going to go and make something awesome. We're excited that tomorrow we have, I think there's just under 200 RSPs coming in. These are people that are in Best Buy, they're in GameStop. These are the guys that are actually taking this game and bringing it to our customers. So they're super important people. This has been the game of our careers. So the team of people coming in tomorrow, uh, we're excited to be able to show them who we are and what we've done. Uh, we're in Las Vegas at the Wynn, beautiful resort, casino. We just played Tomb Raider. Feels like you're actually part of the game. For us, this is as good as it gets. We get you guys raw and unfiltered, and I think from the Crystal Dynamics team and the Xbox team, we just want to say thank you for coming. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Woo! My name is Mike McAllister. I'm 26 years old, and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I work at GameStop. I've been there for about four years now, and I am a game advisor. I've been gaming since I can remember, really. With the Tomb Raider franchise, I first started around 2001. I think Tomb Raider was a success because it was different. There's very few games that have had the opportunity to reimagine themselves the way in which we're doing it with Tomb Raider. If we don't evolve it enough, we've failed. And if you change it too much, it's not Tomb Raider anymore, you failed. So you have this delicate balance. You know, even at Crystal, where we've done a number of different Tomb Raiders, this one is different. I flew over and demoed this game the first two hours. So you never really know when, you, when you're demoing, because it's usually quiet. You're like, I, I hope this is going well. You know, and it came to the end, and she climbed this radio tower, and I flipped the lights on, and everybody around the room went, and I heard them all do it at the same time. And then immediately, everybody stood up and started Da, 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 like that to each other. And I can tell you that that just doesn't happen very often. And these are people who have seen the game before, who know what game we're making. Uh, for them to get that reaction, you know, I can't wait to see when people have fresh eyes and haven't seen it, what reaction they get. This is not the Lara Croft that you once knew. This is a Lara Croft uh, that, you know, she wants to be just like everybody else. She inspired a lot of like young women back in 96, and she inspires people now. She's such an amazing character, and I'm so proud of the work that they've, everybody's done on it, so. Defining this, this character that is so well revered and so well known in the industry, we knew it, it had to be special. That's something that we would love to play. Uh, Lara is, this time it's not just her by herself, but she's got other people involved that are on this island. If I don't survive, None of us will. We were taking the risk to reimagine the franchise. Uh, we thought, why not take a risk to try other things? I think multiplayer is right at the center of that question of how much do you change a franchise that people are so familiar with and love so much. Playing together is such a big part of people's world today, right? It's, it's not just about single player. We wanted to have something for people to come back to. In fact, it really was an evolution of some decision-making we'd done previous. So Guardian of Light, it was an isometric twin-stick shooter uh, puzzle solver in co-op, right? And if you had put that on paper and said, this is what the next Tomb Raider is going to be, they would have thought it's kind of crazy, right? But it worked. It resonates from the single player to the multiplayer. You get to play Lara, but you get to play her friends as well, and you get to kind of back each other up to survive. The community actually had kind of figured out that we had multiplayer like almost a year ago. You know, they were somewhat hesitant at first, but it has been so cool, especially today when we released new Final Hours and they started to see it in action. Their tone just shifted yeah. from like wait and see yep. to I cannot wait. Yep. And I can't wait to get online yeah. with them too. Uh, I think I've already given up my gamer tag and my list has already been flooded. I don't have your gamer tag. Months. Yeah. I need someone to I can possibly <laughs> beat. <laughs> Excuse you. Uh, my design. I'm a guy. My design. <laughs> If you're going to be a big game in this day and age, it really isn't about just putting out videos. It's about doing exactly what we're doing in the game, and that's bringing a connection between the player and the character. We want the same thing to happen here, is that there's a connection between the team members and the RSPs.
you're getting it right from the developers. You're not getting it from marketing. You're not getting it from someone who's being paid to say what they're saying. It's for someone who actually cares about the project and they, they're invested in it. This isn't something that was built in a year or two. So I said, we've been on this for four years. If I could describe the new Tomb Raider in one word, it would be captivating. Epic. The first thing that comes to mind was awesome. Fantastic. Unbelievable, really. It's fun to make games, it's fun to play games, but it's most fun to share the game that you've made with people. Getting the opportunity to try it like this was, it was a dream. Watching a trailer alone, I was hooked and wanted to buy it. This totally put the nail in the coffin. <laughs> That's success, right? That it, you, you know you've done your best. And then beyond that, you hope it carries. You hope that other people appreciate that too, and they pick up a game and they see what we believe is something that's very special. And most of all, I'd love them to say, I can't wait for the next one. Pre-order now for Xbox 360.